Mississippi River is higher than the levels reached during the floods of 93. That year, the record on the Mississippi was 22.6 feet near Davenport. The current right level... When we thought maybe they might do some serious damage to the dam, that barge on the well, right... This is Davenport, didn't take it's a riverfront district, and this behind me is the Mississippi River, which is... We see a combination of factors coming together that really do increase the vulnerability of society to hydrologic risks, flooding and droughts. And we believe that these kinds of forecasting tools, uh, Wharf Hydro, really do have the potential to help people quantify that risk. What Wharf Hydro really did was kind of merge sort of some of the concepts from the atmospheric models with these concepts that we know of hydrology and merge those two together so we can actually start to think about how can we run you know a physically based hydrologic model at scales up to say continents. Yeah I think it's really revolutionized the quantity of information that we have about hydrology about the state of the nation's waters in ways that we didn't have before. Basic research has really been the reason that Wharf Hydro exists. You know, all this understanding of kind of how the main processes in hydrology kind of move water around the landscape and take it from precipitation falling on the land surface all the way down to what becomes, say, a flood in a channel. Basic research is fundamental to what we do here at NCAR. Wharf Hydro is an excellent example of making this spectrum across basic research all the way to applications. And so here we have Warp Hydro developed at NCAR, funded in part by the National Science Foundation, and then a transition from this basic research tool to the operational national water model in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. We began working with NCAR in 2013, 2014 to explore the application of Wharf Hydro for continental scale hydrologic modeling. The national water model gives us the first look at being able to provide that kind of situational awareness and forecast guidance to forecasters, to emergency responders for the entire fabric of the nation. For instance, in Hurricane Harvey, the national water model was used underneath the hurricane forecast model so that first responders would know where to position their equipment. We had the model up and running. They had enough staff at the National Water Center to be able to take information coming out of the model, turn it into you know, likely flood inundation maps, and do briefings every morning with the folks who were on the ground in Houston doing emergency response there. Our UCAR staff provided expertise and a level of sophistication and understanding with the new emerging flood inundation capabilities that was unprecedented. It's made this transition from Wharf Hydro to become an operational model in Israel and Romania. That experience has then made Wharf Hydro the centerpiece of the national water model. And then other parts of UCAR are providing all the non-civil servant talent in our CPAS program. And so the organization is involved in all different levels from research to oversight to advisement uh, for the national water model. UCAR's partnership with the National Water Center provides unprecedented opportunities to work with graduate students from around the nation. And we look very much forward to continuing this program for the foreseeable future. National Water Center, every year, they host a summer institute for students. And they bring in graduate students in hydrology and related sciences from all over the world. And for 10 weeks, they work on issues specifically related to the national water model. This collaborative project between the Water Center, the University of Alabama, and CAR involves 15 graduate students and 15 undergraduate students. It is wonderful to have the National Water Center on the campus and also the collaboration with UCAR where they get an opportunity to work on systems that are going to be used, collect data that are needed by the model and also have an opportunity to work with the scientists at the water center and also at the UCAR. So pretty quickly as Wharf Hydro evolved we started to get the interest and attention of folks who were developing actual forecast systems and in particular for hydrology and flood applications. Those 
people became key partners in actually funding, supporting, developing requirements, and then transitioning what was a research model into an operational forecast tool. At UCAR, we work very closely with Barron's Weather Services in Huntsville, Alabama to take the national water model to the next level. The private sector um, is relied upon to provide the technology that allow that basic research to become active and operational. I think the partnership at the National Water Center is really illustrative of NCAR, UCAR, private sector all working together to accelerate research to operations. And there's nothing better than to take a product that protects people's lives and property from the United States and translate it into different languages and help people abroad. In fact, this is one of the best products I think that the American weather industry is delivering for people around the globe. I think we're just scratching the surface here in terms of uh, taking better advantage and accelerating our research to industry and research to operations.